Thank you for joining me for this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Tuesday, the 23rd of August. The Vermeer pack was released today along with the Aero Great Planer Series 7000 by Giant Software. Um, if you have a season pass, they were both free. I know a lot of people are having problems downloading them, or they were this morning, and if they still are or not updates and things happening people being charged for it although they've got the um season pass if you haven't got the season pass it was 7.99 for the vermeer pack and 1.99 for the aero great planner series 7000 we'll have a look at the aero i've already done the vermeer pack review that's already posted if you want to have a look at that but We've got some updates. The 53 foot drop deck trailer pack with auto load by Mac Trucker 921. The small flatbed trailer auto load by Mac Trucker 921. The Massey Ferguson 5400 series by AMG Gaming and Bullet Bill. The Tree Be Gone by Mantrid. That one actually, actually has had, um, there's a mini one added for skid steer loaders. So the Tree Be Gone is brilliant for clearing trees and forestry if you just want to clear an area but you don't want to do the forestry. Um, so yeah, there's a mini version been added into that for skid steel owners which is rather cool the brush cutter by a dub modding mantrid abp team the john deere 4755 by dominic the lizard s041 uh, slash 3 gamma 5 by hashtel mods and paisa the lintner lintrack 90 by agrar design austria mr steyer steer and the roadrunner by mantrid have all had updates in front of me we have got beekeeping this is beekeeping by zoddlezoct 1.31 megabytes download 13 slots on console and 95 grand to buy now this is beekeeping on another level we've got quite a lot of although i've got no bees coming out um i don't know if that's a, a problem whether it's supposed to or not but anyway um so production chain but as with a lot of the stuff from zoddlezoct it requires other things to work it does say required mods let me just click on that. Oh, she's disappeared from the mod tab. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> well, I'll review it anyway. Uh, so, we need the sawmill by Zoddlezot. And this one here, the parrot, pallet and barrel production by Zoddlezot. So, you need the sawmill by Zoddlezot because that produces planks and beams, which this facility needs. Planks, you could use any sawmill, but the beams, you need to use this one. So, it does planks and beams. So, you need the sawmill. Lumber goes in, planks and beams come out. You can distribute them automatically or move them yourself. The planks and beams go into here, and then this produces pallets of barrels and pallets of pallets, which is what this mod needs. So you need these two for this one to work. What I'm going to do is actually just grab some of these very quickly. As far as I'm aware, no other mods will work with this. I don't know if there are any others that do anything like this, but let's do that. This is going to be interesting. Ah, this would have happened before. Let's do that. Take these over and drop these off to at least to get it started. Now, uh, this one needs to be put in here. There we go, so that's the first couple and I can kind of get it going now. So, you'll find it under build mode, under productions. That one there, 95 grand slot count will come down to one. Now the thing about this, it's ramping up honey production. This is mega honey money. If we go over and click on here, you'll see that we have eight productions that can run. And the production with 100 pallets, 100 barrels, gives you a thousand honey. So, if all of those running, we should get a fair bit of honey coming out fairly quickly. Storage on this, oh, you know, I say it's disappeared from the mod hub. Um, I think it was, I want to say 100,000 litres for each one. I don't know why it's disappeared, that's panicked me now. Anyway, what I'm going to do is just stick a couple more in just to make sure. And I know I say this every single time. At the end of the video, we'll come back and we'll have a look. And I always forget. 
So what I might need to do is speed up time a little bit, just till lunchtime maybe. So I want to get some honey pallets coming out. those in so yeah i mean over the course of a, of a day with eight productions running with those recipes it's going to be a huge amount of honey coming out way more than normal but i mean i suppose at 95 grand you could place five of the regular langstroth beehives couldn't you for that let's have a look at the moment 11 liters that will speed up a little bit i think so anyway yeah that's the beekeeping by zoddlezoct requiring two other mods by zoddlezoct to work and we'll see how that actually you know what I'm gonna speed up time I wasn't gonna but I'm gonna come out a bit of an angle oh that's weird okay so I've got one come out here one come out all the way over here but that's pretty rapid because we've only been through an extra hour or so haven't we of course it's not gonna move is it well, there you go that's actually pretty productive for 95 grand i know a lot of people don't when i did the mod the other day for the fish farming and it required pallets and stuff as well i know people weren't happy because a lot of people don't like doing logging so the problem is if you don't want to do logging to get the lumber to get the sawmill running to do the planks and beams to get this going i kind of get it so if, if people want to use this but don't want to do logging it kind of precludes them from doing it what we need is a mod like we had on fs19 of some lumber we need lumber piles so you can buy lumber piles if you wanted to if you've got enough money go into the forest and you can do a whole kind of you know however more you want to do your storyline lumber piles you buy and you just put the lumber piles into the um sawmill that would kind of work wouldn't it but anyway uh, that's the beehive uh sorry the beekeeping by zoddle zot next just over here we have got the underground weighing station by agra modding 0.28 megabytes download, three slots on console, 19,500 to buy if I walk on it. I haven't got enough weight on me, but um, it comes up on there. And there's no building above ground, that's why it says underground. It doesn't mean this is underground, but the actual building itself is underground. Under build mode, this one you'll find under buildings and tools. Out on the end there, slot count will come down to one once placed. That's by Agra Modding. Next, we've got the Modern Barn. This is by Ikas. Uh, 6.38 megabytes download, 17 slots on console, and 60 grand to buy. You'll find it under build mode, under sheds, and it's um, that one just there. Modern Barn. Comes down to one slot as well. There's no lighting in this, although it does, it's pretty, it feels very light and airy in here anyway. Triple door. Can be open for the inside or out. Very nice. Modern Barn by Ikas. Next, we have got the old brick building pack. Uh, this is by Gracchus and Philip. It's 27.49 megabytes download. We've got 26 slots on this one. We've got four slots on this one. And we've got six slots on this one. You'll find them under build mode, also under sheds, and they're just here. 35,500 for the brick barn. 18,000 for the brick shed with no doors. 20,000 for the brick shed with doors. So, these do open. They take a bit of time once the bolt's been moved. There you go. We do have lighting inside here. Where was the light switch? There we go, just there. Lights on and lights off. Now, this ladder, is that's where you'll find it when you get the mod. However, if you go up there and open the doors, the door opens in your way. That being said, you can move the ladder. Bring it around to the front. No, it's not particularly stable, but there you go. We can go up the top here and use the hayloft. If you want to use the hayloft, put in small bales or anything up here, or you could use a telehandler, put in big bales. But then, unless you've got liftable bales, it might be a bit tricky to get them back out. But you can use this for storage if you wish. Very nice indeed. Then we've got the open one. 
And the same one, but with doors on. No lights on this one either. I do like the detailing on this. The concrete's chipped and dinged and sort of flaking. The brickwork looks like brickwork. It's really nice. Set that. Uh, that's the old brick building pack by Gracchus and Philip. Behind me, we've got this rather large building. This is the Grain Complex by Didec96. 19.7 megabytes download. 22 slots on console. This facility will set you back 385,000. It has a 600,000 litre silo. We put into the silo here. We take out of the silo, just under here where that pipe is. And over this side, we've got barn, building space. Again, this with the detail. With the sort of concrete. With loads of aggregate in it. It looks like, it looks like a concrete wall. It's brilliant. Uh, light switch over here. Lights on and off. I do like the way they go on and off. That's really cool. Nice big building. You can put cranes, vehicles, anything you like. As I always say with buildings, put whatever you want in them. It's entirely up to you. So... Under build mode, this one you'll find under silos. There you go, the Unia Grain Complex mod. 600,000 litres of capacity. Now, this doesn't actually say... Uh, I don't think it's... Multifruit. You know what, I'm going to check that. Bear with me just a second. It is a standard silo. Wheat, barley, oat, canola... Sorghum, sunflower, soybean, corn, back to wheat again. So it's not a multi-fruit silo. It is a standard silo. There you go. It's big. I, do, I actually I do like the look of it. I think it looks really cool. Anyway, that's the Grain Complex by Didec96. Next, we have got this. This is the Rack. Uh, this is 3.44 megabytes download, two slots on console despite agri-design modding. This is a decorative object you can put in your fields, your pastures, you can put a bale in it. The animals won't eat from it, it's not actually a feed trough, but if you want it to kind of look nice in the field, you absolutely can. Uh, this you'll find not in there, and uh, I think it was miscellaneous. There we go, 950. No options available on it. You get it just like that. Um, I bought it out using that um, big bag handler, but you can grab it with forks and prongs and basically anything you can hook it with. You can lift it up with them. You can bring it out and place it wherever you want to. So when you buy it, it will it comes out at the store as any other vehicle or piece of machinery would do. It's not a placeable. Um, there we go. That's the rack by Agri Design Modding. Next, we've got the Flegel Ruby Plus by Moppy82. 1.06 megabytes download, three slots on console. Now, what's different between this and the standard Ruby? Well, there are a few differences. If we go into our front loader tools, which is where you'll find it, and we scroll across to the standard in-game one, which is there. The Ruby 2000 is 2,300 litre. We'll take all those crop types. You can use it as a regular bucket, but when you turn it on, it will take sugar beet and it will chop sugar beet for you. That's fine. Options on that? There aren't any. You can do it just like that. If we go across the Ruby Plus, same price. Um, what was that slot count was on that one? Three. So that one was two. It's only one slot more. On this one, we have got attacher type options. So we can go for standard, telehandler, wheel loader, or back again. So a few more options with regards to that. Colour choices on this as well. So that does your main colour. Design colour does the back bit for your attachers. Actually, what I'll do is change the attacher. So we can, there you go. Uh, so design colour will change the attacher colour. Let's go for blue so it stands out a little bit on the back there. So it's only, a, it's only 200 litres more on the capacity, but it is more with some options for connections and some colour options too. It should work exactly the same way. I've got sugar beet in it. Like I say, you can use this regular bucket. That's fine. And then when you turn it on, it's actually going to need something to put it into thought it would just unload here. Oh, brilliant. Where's my trailer? Oh, now it is. Okay, that's peculiar. Okay, now it's taking my sugar beet and it's chopping my sugar beet. So that's what it should be doing. 2,500 litres. And then what we can do is turn it off. Hopefully. Get my sugar beet cut back up again. There we go. Gained a little bit there, that's impressive. 2,500 litres, we've got 2,508. 
there we have it. The Flegel Ruby Plus by Moppy82. Next, we've got the Silage Fork, which is this one just here. Uh, this is 2.81 megabytes download, two slots on console. It's by Nico Pixies. It's a 5,000 litre silage fork. If we go to wheel loaders, which is where you'll find it, out on the end there, 6,540 to buy. Options, main colour, anything on that palette, does that. And then the tines are the design colour, like so. Start up. Unfold the wheel loader tool. Open and close the grab if you want to. We could use this for grabbing logs and all sorts of stuff if you wanted to. It's a type too, really. Um, and yeah, it's a silage fork. We'll do some forage type things as well. Actually, what were the other things it took? I don't want to make any guesstimates. So we can do grass, hay. We can do manure, silage, chaff and straw. Very nice indeed. I know I keep saying that, but it is. Um, that's Silage Fork by Nico Pixies. Next, we have got this. This is the Unia Grudziads U417 by Hagstall Mods and QWERTY. 7.37 megabytes download, six slots on console, 2.1 meters wide. Nice indeed. There's a few different options available on this. You'll find it under Cultivators. Out on the end there, 2,800, 40 horsepower required. It's not massive, but might be something you're looking for. Uh, improvements, none. String roller, tooth roller, jewel roller, harrows, or none. I think I went for that. Teeth, normal, or you can have the goose feet on the tines. Mounting of wheels, new or old. Type of wheels, old, new, matured. Uh, warning panels, we can have none, we can have type 1 older, type 1 newer, type 2 older, type 2 newer. Main colour does the framework, and then design colour does the tines and roller, or whatever you've got on there as your option. Start it up. Drop it down. Where we go? 9 miles an hour, 2.1 metres wide. That will be pulling up smaller stones because it's not a shallow cultivator. But I made a bit of a, a mistake when I was setting the map up, so the rocks aren't showing at the moment unless I replow this all and go again. Um, but there you go. That's the Unia Grudziads U417 by Hashtag Mods and QWERTY. Uh, moving on from there, we've got this. This is the Forwarder Trailer by North Modding Company. 1.10 megabytes download, two slots on console. It seems very compact at the moment. This does extend out. The um, attacher extends right out as well. So if you're pulling it behind a forwarder or another vehicle and you want to put longer logs on it than it looks like it should take, which is what I did. Actually, what I'm going to do, if I remember now, I'm going to put a picture up because I had to take, I had to cut some trees down, take some logs over to the sawmill to get that running in the first place. So... Um, it, it took a fair bit of logs. I'll be honest, I probably could have put a lot more on had I been a bit neater, but I was trying to do it in a hurry. So there you go. Pretty cool. Um, this you'll find under forestry equipment. Uh, that one just there. 15 grand. That's all. Slot count comes down to one. We can have Nokian or Trelleborg. Nothing within those, just those two tyre types. Uh, main colour does the chassis. And design colour does the supports. So let's hook up to it. And you'll see what I mean. So uh, L1 and right stick up and down. Extends it right out. And that's got quite a reach on it. So if you wanted to put something like... You know, I put 7 metre logs on there. You could probably get away with 8 or whatever. But if you're behind a forwarder and you've got long logs on that as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we go L1 Unfold Timber Trailer. Does that too. So it's got a fairly big capacity. It's not too expensive. Suspension on it seemed to work really well when I was moving the logs around. It does have straps as well. Which should kind of help, hope, if you were moving logs around. Works really well. 
Sand as a Pound. Very cool. Uh, that's the forwarder trailer by North Modding Company. Next, we've got this. Now, this has got me a little bit puzzled. I'm going to look at it anyway. But this is the Komatsu 951 by Oscar8599 and Woodcraft Modding. 46.34 megabytes download, 21 slots on console. But it does have a change log. And the change log's quite extensive, but it doesn't say console release, which makes me think this is an update and not a new mod. Um, yeah, so um, we'll have a look at it anyway. It does say added colour configuration for hoses, added configuration for extra extinguisher, added configuration for extra lights, configuration for steering wheel, Komatsu smart crane function, uh, in-cab lights, and other minor fixes. Yeah, I'm thinking this is an update now, not an actual new mod. But anyway, we'll have a look at it anyway. You'll find it under vehicles, just in case it's not, uh, and forestry equipment machines there so the standard in-game one 931 is there 435 grand it's a little bit more expensive at 495,000 we go Trelleborg Clark tracks Ollis fours and Trelleborg there's no options under Clark tracks I'm not going to read them all out but we've got all of these under Ollis fours we've got all of these You can have without protection, protection one, protection two, protection three. Really beefs up the uh, protection of the rear engine bay, engine compartment. Hose protection colour, we've got black or yellow on the front. Extra extinguishers on the back, no or yes, you can put extra extinguishers. Extra roof lights, no or yes, put some extra roof lights on it. Uh, steering wheel, yes or no. You can just have the control columns, but you can put a steering wheel in there if you want the steering wheel as well. Tinted windows, yes or no. Come out through smart crane function. All that does is changes the way, as you can see, the head is facing the ground. Some mods have it. This one just it gives you that option to tilt that head. So if you want to pick logs up from the floor, if you've dropped one or you're on a map where there are logs on the floor anyway, you can pick them up and you can still cut them. So you can have that on, yes or no. You've got transportation. So that lent back like that is in transportation mode one or two. So it swings the whole thing around. That's how it will come. I think I had it in that. Uh, protection color. It's red or black just for all the bars around the back. Those are your options. We hop in, start it up. So at the moment we're in kind of rest mode. So if we unfold the tree harvester, it levels off the cab, brings the arm up, it should tilt the head back. There we go, like that. Puts the light bar up and we're good to go. Lights, on. Now I'm going to double check something. Yeah, so, um, L1, R1 and left stick side to side will tilt your head down. So if you want to pick your stuff up from the floor, you can. We can change the cut length in half a metre all the way up to... What was it went up to? Is this a 20? Yeah, up to 20 metres. So half metre length up to 20 metres. Uh, what else have we got on here? Our up, down, left, right. We've got our movement of the crane that way we've got the boom in and out like that as well plenty of buttons for that L1 R1 right stick side to side rotates the head we can close the grip as well but that kind of turns on and off like that if you turn the head on and off it will do it itself if we've got to change driving no we haven't have we no, so there's no way to change the driving direction. You want to be facing this way anyway. I think that's it. Camera options. Well, that one, that one, and back again. I'll just swing the head around to the side a little bit just so the trees aren't coming at the cab. Lights on. Lighting's pretty good, especially with the extra lighting on it. Sound pretty cool. Neat and tidy log pile. See, pretty good. Though. 
Visibility is pretty good. So there we go. That's the Komatsu 951 by Oscar8599 and Woodcraft Modding. Which brings me on to the last of the mods. And I say last of the mods. This is a mod. This is the, the Aero Grape, uh, Grape Liner Series 7000. And like I say, this is an additional that you would have to pay for if you haven't got the season pass. It was 199 for this. It's um, 17 slots. I don't know why I'm walking over. I could have just, I could have tabbed over. Come on. But it looks really nice. And it's a little bit different with the unload as well. It's nice to have something a little bit different as well in the grape processing department. I know it does the same job as the other one, but again, it's just something a little bit different. Uh, different company. It's a German company. I think they've been around since the 60s, I think. Uh, so we go to grape technology. 242,000 for the Browd. 240 for the base model of the Grape Liner Series 7000. We click on that. We can have a small tank at 2,200 litres. We look around that side. We have a big tank, which has three grand on, takes up to 3,000 litres. We've got Will Brand, Michelin, Trelleborg. Those are the two. Oh, sorry, hang on. Michelin, Trelleborg, Continental, Midas, Fredestein. And back again, nothing within those. Then we've got the model. So we've got the model 7175, 25 kilometer hour, which is 175 horsepower. The 7175, 40 kilometers per hour. Then you can have the model 7200, which takes up to 204 horsepower. So if you're on quite steep, hilly ground and you might want it a little bit more oomph to it, you can go for the 7200 version, 25 kilometers an hour or the 40 kilometers an hour version. And then there is a license plate option on there as well. So let's jump in, start it up. Do you have a beacon on top? A little strobe beacon. Lights. Horn. Unfold the harvester. That's it really nice. As you can see the agitators moving inside. And off we go. Now the question is always asked, is this the start of microtransactions? Are we going to start getting this happening a lot where we get new vehicles and we've got to pay a couple of pounds, a couple of euros for each one that comes out? My, say my argument to that, we do get a lot of stuff. We do get a lot of free stuff. We've had a lot of stuff come out in the past. Yes, we've now got a year one season pass, then we'll move on to a year, a season, a year two season pass, which Giants haven't really done before. That's all pretty cool, I like the animation on that. Um, I think it's the way most companies do business now. It's, it's just the way it is, really. Um, we do have a fair bit of stuff. I know not all DLCs are for everyone. Not everything that comes out is for everyone. But again, if you don't want this, you don't have to have it. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to download it. The unload on this is really cool, though. So, that moves, and then the whole thing lifts up. I haven't got a lot in there, but... I'll have to go straight through the trailer to be fair. But probably could have done with being a little bit further away. I love the movement for the steering as well. Look at that. Interior it sounds brilliant. The 40 km an hour, 40 km an hour one, 24 miles an hour. It's not a slouch. So yeah, this is a bit of an additional. I love those lights on that as well. That's really cool. So there you go. That's the Aero Great Pliner 7000 series by Giant Software. And that's it for the mods for today. I think I'm just going to double check in case anything else has happened. Don't think so. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.